The state superintendent had a bullseye on him last night. Angry parents and teachers peppered him with questions. He responded, but is what he said accurate? News 9's Angelicia Bruton takes a closer look. I'm going to answer you truthfully and I'm going to answer you directly. Several hands of parents and educators went up at the Norman Main Library. One thing Walters mentioned multiple times was the book Flamer by Mike Carato. Yeah, you know, we have Owasso Public Schools that said that they're going to keep Flamer in the classroom. You know, that that's part of inclusive education. I have not heard back from Owasso Public Schools, but according to multiple local news outlets like The Frontier, that's not true. Owasso Public Schools spokesman Jordan Corfidge has been quoted saying the district reviewed this book last year. They found it not to be obscene, so they decided to keep it on the shelves. After hearing Walter's concerns, they say it was removed and is undergoing a second review. What do kids who don't believe in your God supposed to do? Some folks say Walters is forcing students to pray in Oklahoma schools. The state is looking to enforce this, but prayer is a choice. A minute of silence is there if they want to pray, if they want to sit silently, they can do so. But that minute should be protected. As for applying for federal grants, it's unclear. Yeah, guys, th this whole $100 million Ryan didn't apply for, that is absolute nonsense. It's a complete lie. Walters did apply for $187 million worth of grants in mid-May. The Oklahoma's House Education Chair Mark McBride says he believes Walters was leaving money on the table, and there's more that could have been done. It is around $100 million or more of competitive grant funding that possibly has not been applied for or hasn't been applied for. We don't have any proof. Angelicia Bruton. Just watch. Oklahoma Zone. See if any school is without anybody. News 9.